Hello, my young friends. I'm so glad we're able to spend some time together today. I want to talk to you about something very important. Names. We all have a name. We have a name that was given to us by our parents when we were born. My name is Susan, but you know that. And each of you has a very special name, too. Well, I was thinking the other day that there are other names that people call me besides Susan, and I made a list. Sister, mother, grandmother, friend, teacher, volunteer, and Christian. I probably should have put Christian at the top of the list. Oopsie. Anyway, I'm sure you have other names that you're called too, like daughter, grandchild, student, brother, sister, cousin, dancer, soccer player, chef, piano player, artist. You have lots of different names, and they don't always mean the same. Grandmother doesn't mean the same thing as volunteer, and student doesn't mean the same thing as cousin. I thought about Jesus, and Jesus has a lot of names too. There's a very special piece of music called the Messiah that is my all-time chart-topping favorite. It is a beautiful piece that was written many, many years ago, and it has two parts. It has the Christmas part, and it has the Easter part. The Christmas part we sing at Christmas. The Easter part, we sing at Easter. The Christmas part is all about the birth of Jesus. And in the Christmas part, there are several other names that Jesus is called. Messiah, Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Those are some really cool names for Jesus. But you know what? There are many other names that people call Jesus. All of them are in the New Testament, and there are over 50 names that mean Jesus in the New Testament. Here are some of them. Son of God, Son of Man, Christ, Teacher, Good Shepherd, Emmanuel, Lamb of God, King of the Jews. I have more. Lord, Master, Savior, Light of the World, Almighty, Alpha and Omega, Beloved Son, Jehovah, Mighty One, Lord of All. Those are some beautiful names for a beautiful, beautiful Jesus. The thing that's so important is that all of these names mean the same thing. They mean Jesus. Jesus is our best friend. He is the love of our lives. He's always there for us. He wants the best for us. He will always listen. He will always help. And he never changes. So let's say a prayer. Dear God, thank you for your son Jesus and the many names that he has. Thank you for our best friend, our Savior, our Christ, and our Lord. Thank you for his love and the fact that he is always there and never changes. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls. I hope you have a good week. Stay safe and healthy. Listen to your parents. Do your homework. Say your prayers and brush your teeth. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Love you.